also next week, next Wednesday, uh, for Tinny Talks, I'm going to be talking about depression and the difference between depression and sadness. And there is a difference. So I am out in my greenhouse, and you know, we had uh, a blizzard here in Texas with zero on day, zero weather and our electricity went out and it's killed every plant in this greenhouse every plant some of these plants except these two right here some of these plants i have had they're like family members i've had some of them for like 40 years i moved them out here uh, with me from our old house and then some of them were gifts i could tell you where i got every flower in this greenhouse uh, some of them we got when my husband passed away almost seven years ago. And then some of them, ten years ago, the OWN Network uh, gifted them to us when we did uh, the show for OWN. And then I could go on and on. My children have given me many of these uh, plants. Uh, and then I bought a lot of them at Lowe's on Tuesday Markdown Rack, you know, that's what uh, I don't usually pay full price for anything, but I can get really beautiful plants on that Markdown. So I'm sad about this. I'm really sad and I could probably, you know, pitch a fit and cry and holler and scream and it wouldn't do me any good at all. But I'm not depressed, you know, depression uh, there's situational depression and then there's clinical depression and clinical depression is a mental illness situational uh, is about something like this has happened and you know I could get all depressed about it and it would not do me one bit of good I'm sad I am sad and it just kind of makes me sick at my stomach to walk through here but you know what happened was right before this happened uh, I got some little bulbs at Lowe's and you know these are hardy little bulbs and they survive cold weather and so I just on a lark picked up a package and I uh, planted some bulbs so I want you to come over and, and I want to introduce you to these the sweetest little flowers in the world look <laughs> over here look here and they are just blooming their little hearts out for me. And so how can I be very sad when I've got these to look at? I'm gonna take these in my house because we're gonna have another freeze before Easter. And look here, I've got tulips growing. Uh, and then I've got some over here that is are coming along. And so what I have to complain about? It's sad, I've lost, you know, I've lost some friends here. <laughs> But I'll tell you, uh, uh, my uh, gentleman that worked for me for 16 years, my yard man, he's coming tomorrow to help me and uh, he will not miss this greenhouse because it would take us two days to get all of the plants out, cut them back and get them placed where they need to go. So I get to start over. Uh, and that's kind of what recovery is and what relapse is. This is a relapse. It is not a death, you know, it's a relapse. So I get to start over with these plants. And I've already told my children, you know, they, they buy me and my friends buy me beautiful bouquet of flowers on Easter and Mother's Day. And I've requested no cut flowers. I'm going to have a little barbecue and we're going to have a flower shower. I want everyone to come to bring a flower to plant. And pretty soon, you know, my yard will be full of pretty flowers. Actually, I would feed them if they didn't bring a flower, but I'm hoping that they will. And then I can name them and I'll know, you know, when I start, what I request is perennials. I've got perennials coming up in my yard. And they, I mean, you cannot beat perennials. I don't care how cold it gets, they're gonna pick their, peek their little heads up out of that earth when it gets warm enough. So they're already coming up. So life is good. I wanna figure out how to get all of these dead flowers out of here, but we'll figure it out. And uh, I say we will figure it out. I use that word loosely because I have a group of people my friend Misty, my daughter Kim, I have other people surrounding me that we will take <laughs> care of. We'll get these. We figure it out. We will figure it <laughs> Together. out. Together. So, 
Yes, I'm a little sad about this, but I am not going to let spend days being depressed over dead flowers. What I'm grateful for is that none of us died. There have been three people, elders in our little town of uh, less than 500 people, three of them died. They froze to death during the blizzard. We did not lose a pet, we didn't lose a person, and that is what we're grateful for. I'm sorry to lose the plants, but you, we're gonna be sending you pretty uh, pictures of the summer flowers. Uh, you won't believe how pretty they'll be. It's gonna take some work, but we'll get her done. Alrighty, see you Wednesday. <laughs>